Uh, my best wishes to the Indian team for the pink ball test uh, tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, Virat, my question is, the pitch here is expected to help the spinner, but uh, no great amount of swing is expected here. So may I know your opinion on the effect of the pink ball not swinging that much? Uh, I don't think that's that's a very accurate assessment. I think the the pink ball does tend to swing a lot more than the no, the normal red ball that we play with. We experienced that in the one match that we played uh, in 2019 against Bangladesh. Uh, it's much more challenging to play with the new ball with the pink ball, regardless of what what pitch you're playing on. And especially in the evening, if say um, you know you're as a batting team, you're starting your innings in the evening under lights, then that one one and a half hours is very challenging. Yes, spin will come into play for sure, but um, I don't think the new ball um, and the fast bowlers can be ignored. Um, the, the pink ball does bring them into the game uh, till the ball is, is nice and shiny and um, something that we are very well aware of and uh, we are pre preparing accordingly. Uh, I just want to know, you know, you have uh, such a variety, uh, varied bowling attack, very different personalities and characters in the bowling uh, department. On one hand, you have something like Ashwin, who is quite an analyzer. Tends to think a lot and prepare a lot uh, and analyze a lot. And then there's the chance to say that he's really not in the so much and like to be things with you. So, can you talk about how you manage, handle, or how you deal with these kind of varied personalities, two different opposite, opposites in the sense? Uh, well, you know, this is part of man management that you have to do as a captain. It's very important to understand that. You know, you need to bring the most aggressive option out of your bowlers at all times. Um, and how to communicate to each individual is very important. What I speak to Ishant uh, will probably bring the best out of him in terms of looking for wickets and, you know, bowling attacking lines at the same time we would discuss fields. Ash is very smart, very sharp and um, he understands his field positioning and, and all those kind of things very well. Um, but sometimes I do chip in as a batsman and say, if you were bowling to me, I would not like a fielder here or here or here. So. He understands that quite quite uh, quickly, and he's very smart about it. So, I think we've been able to develop a good a good communication, a good understanding over the years, and uh, 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 that's one of the the uh, big reasons for you know the bowling unit bowling together, understanding the plans clearly, and having an aggressive mindset wherever we have played in the world, and we've been picking twenty wickets continuously, and something that we take a lot of pride in as bowlers. Uh, individuals are different, but the goal remains common, which is to um, get the other team out as quickly as possible and, and in, in order to do that they bowl really well in partnerships and understand, understand their strengths and their field positioning very well. Yeah, hi Virat. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Virat, obviously you are going to play a uh, test match under lights and with uh, pink ball. So, what are the adjust, adjustments that uh, you, you have to do uh, in your game? Well, last time we experienced that uh, the for the first session is probably the the nicest to bat when the sun's out and you know the the ball doesn't do as much. But when it starts to get dark, especially during that twilight period, um, it gets very tricky. The light changes; it's difficult to sight the ball. And then under lights is like playing the first session in the morning. Um, you know, in a normal test match, the ball does tend to swing a lot. So I think it's a reversal of roles and something that you need to adjust to quite quickly as as batsmen. Even though you might be set in the afternoon, but you have to really, you know, take guard again and, and start from scratch in the evening and understand that you probably have to be a bit more disciplined, a bit, bit more disciplined than, than you were in the day when, when, you know, things were probably easier with the bat. So these are the major differences and similarly with the bowlers, you know, the, the, the plan in the afternoons was to, to bowl a nice and consistent uh, line in length and then in the evenings when the situation allowed us to, we, we attacked a lot more. So I think the same kind of template uh, will be useful in this game as well and th these are the, the few differences from a normal test match scenario that we experience. Rika Roy and then Anuji Mishra from ANN. The COVID-19. Uh, good, good afternoon. Uh, good luck uh, to the team. Uh, okay. I just wanted to ask you about uh, you know the record of MSD you are gunning for as a captain to become you know the most successful test captain at home. Um, okay. You know personally what uh, does that really mean to you and you know how do you take things when a record approaches uh, that record means nothing to me uh, records are something that that are looked at from an individual point of view and that's not what we play sport for uh, whether it's individual records as a batsman or 
whether it's the number of wins as a captain i'm doing a responsibility to the best of my abilities and my potential and an absolute co- commitment for the team for so many years and i would i would i would continue to do so till the time you know i i play this game um so i'm just f- fulfilling my responsibility none of the records are are meant to be forever these are very fickle things which probably look great from the outside comparing to individuals and that's something that you know people on the outside love to do all the time um but that really doesn't matter to any of us to be very honest because the mutual respect and understanding and and camaraderie that you have as teammates or you know your ex captain is is something that you uh, hold really uh, closely to your heart and i understand the the importance and you know the the significance of that so that is going to, always going to be way more important in my life than you know these these uh, milestones or these records as i said i'm doing my responsibility to keep indian cricket on top and i will continue to do so um and that that should be the mindset of everyone playing for the team and whoever in in you know few years down the line whoever the next person who leads this team you know should take indian cricket forward as well so yeah i i don't really pay attention to any other records i'm not even aware of them when i step onto the field to be honest i'm told afterwards that uh, jo root has said that if conditions are more team oriented and then england players will have an edge looking at looking at how they struggled against us in the second test and the pink ball is known to have seamers now you also mentioned it earlier in the pc so how will you look to ensure that india don't give an inch to the wasting thing in the pink ball test uh by doing what we've been doing for years now which is playing good cricket um our focus will solely remain on our team not really bothered about what the strengths and weaknesses of the english team are um we beat them beaten them in in their home as well uh where the ball does way more and we have bowled them out every time so uh we're not really bothered with that it's just about you know playing well as a team um and yeah there are many many weaknesses um in the opposition side as well if you if you are keen to ex- exploit them things can if if the seamer friendly track is for them it's for us as well and we probably have uh, you know among other teams the best bowling attack in the world so we're not really bothered by what the ball might bring differently to the table we're ready for anything that comes our way uh hi vidat uh, this question is uh, regarding the world test championship scenario the next two tests of course uh, uh you know not just fate of india but also fate of england and australia hang so how do you look at this scenario and uh what are your thoughts uh, do we have uh, a little bit more comfort because we just have one test to win and the other to draw uh you can't play for those kind of reasons um we're not looking to win one and draw one we're looking to win both um for us these are two games of cricket and solely the only thing that we're focused on uh what it does afterwards is is a is a conversation for later that's a reality that's not present right now in the present moment we are preparing for tomorrow um ready for the grind for 5 days um wanting to win a test match for india and then move on to the next one uh one day at a time is something that we followed for years now and there's no point running far ahead uh into into the future where you you have no idea what's going to happen so we are going to focus on what we can do as individuals in the present moment and uh, let let other people think of scenarios and what if and what if not and uh, we're we really not focused on those things england were bowled out for 58 in their most recent dni test and india for 36 even more recently will those experiences help or hinder the thought process going into this game uh no according to me no both are uh bizarre experiences for two quality sides um if you ask england the same question do you think that you know you could be bowled out for 50 again that their answer probably would be no because you understand that on on that particular day things just are meant to happen a certain way and whatever you try to do it's out of your control and and nothing seems to go right and exactly what happened to us in adelaide as well barring that 45 minutes of bad cricket we dominated that test match as well so we're very confident in terms of how we played the pink ball even in australia where the pitches were were uh, assisting their seamers they were under the pump through that adelaide game and that 45 minutes where we were just blown away um there was there was literally nothing to to come back into the game with so yeah, we understand that quite well from the outside things are not as detailed or explained uh, what happens in the change room what the mindset of individuals is but you understand exactly what went wrong on that day and you brush it aside which the team did beautifully afterwards uh, from melbourne test 
and um, you know ended up making a, a great comeback so um, these are experiences for sure not a hindrance not something that is a mental scar um, but something that you learn from you move ahead and you keep improving as cricketers and understand um, you know if, if it's a difficult situation again how to apply yourself and and probably get out of that tough situation Virat, hi. Uh, Virat, given the enormi enormity of the stadium and about 50,000 fans are expected to turn up, do you think the whole atmosphere could be a little intimidating for the England players, especially those who have been touring India for the first time? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, crowd plays a massive role. Um, the crowds really get behind us and the difference of which we saw in the second test you know the opposition does feel the pressure when you when you go to play in Australia, England, South Africa, New Zealand, anywhere. Um, you know people are when you I have experienced that as a batsman. You walk into the field and thirty thousand fans are booing you or you know um, clapping when the bowlers running into bowl. It does play on your head. So we would love for that atmosphere to be present. You know make life more difficult for the opposition and really get behind the team. That's what um, playing at home is all about. It's not only about the conditions on the field, but 50,000 people and their energy behind your team, uh, it does push you in the right direction and it does put a lot more pressure on the opposition. Virat, oh, uh, Nishan will be playing his 100 test match. You know, past few years, last 4-5 years, I've seen him uh, become a new bowler uh, altogether. What has been the one change or changes that you have seen in him and what has been your influence in as a captain on him sort of rediscovering is Mojo or going on to play 100 test matches now? Uh, look, I've, I've known Ishant for many years now. He, he started playing state cricket with me um, from his first season onwards. We've been, we've been roommates for uh, many years in state cricket, Ranji Trophy cricket. Um, when, he, when he got selected for India, he was fast asleep in the afternoon and I had to kick him off the bed to say that you've been selected and he wouldn't believe me. So that's, that's how far we go back. Uh, and I couldn't be happier for him for playing 100 test matches as a fast bowler is is no mean feat and especially playing in our conditions where things can get so difficult but he persevered, he kept working hard and that's been his essence from day one. Very hard working guy, very honest about the game, about his abilities, about what he can bring to the table and very self-assured. I was most excited to to you know work with him and really bring the best out of him as an attacking fast bowler. Um, and something that you know it, it it clicked immediately because he knew my mindset. He knows me inside out. There's big trust factor. I know him inside out. I know that he's going to respond to advice. I, he knows I'm going to I'm going to listen to his plans as well. So I think it's it's worked really well for both of us, not just for him as a fast bowler, but for me as a captain as well to have that kind of experience and you know the the kind of consistency he brings in with the attacking uh, lines and lengthy bowls. Um, I, I've just been very, very happy to see him uh, really enjoy his bowling in the last four or five years and really become that stalwart of um, you know the Indian fast bowling group. So couldn't be happier for him. Really, really excited. Um, I'm going to be present on the field when he plays his hundred game, and um, you know, to see that smile on his face and just running and bowl will be great to watch um, uh, for a dear friend of mine. Virat, you've scored some. You have some good memories with pink ball test match in India. Last time against Bangladesh, you scored a century as well. Is that in your head that you know what is ahead of you? Uh, no, I treated that as any other game of cricket, and just fulfilled my responsibility to go and score runs for the team. That's why I'm selected in the first place as a batsman in this team, um, and that's my responsibility. It's and I'll continue to do that, whether you play with the pink ball, red ball, white ball, those things don't matter. They're probably relevant for me and have been for a long time. For me, it's all about what can I do for the team in that situation and the focus only remains that. Uh, ended up being a good game. Uh, sometimes when you've played so much red ball cricket as well, but it's not certain that you score every time and it's not certain that you fail every time. So cricket is a, is a game to be played in the present moment and I'm certainly well prepared uh, for this test match as well. And I'll, I'll give my absolute best to, to contribute for my team. Hi, Virat. Sajiv. Borro. Now, we are talking about that MCG is the biggest stadium. There is a different kind of way. 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 How proud are you as an Indian, as a cricketer, that India has the biggest cricket stadium in the world and you are going to play the first match in the world. 
और एक और चीज इसी से जुड़ा हुआ है कि जो सीट्स है यहाँ पर मैंने देखा ऑरेंज कलर की है और पिंक बॉल से मैच होगा क्या इससे कोई फर्क पड़ेगा जब बैट्समैन वहां पर अगर आप खेल रहे हैं तो Uh, पहले मैं दूसरे सवाल का जवाब uh, मैं आपको दे सकता हूँ साइड स्क्रीन हमारा काफ़ी ब्रॉड है और जो सीट्स हैं वो एक ऐसे एंगल पे हैं जहाँ पे प्रॉब्ली आप आपका ध्यान नहीं जाता एज अ बैट्समैन एज अ फील्डिंग ग्रुप हमने इस बारे में डिस्कशन करी है बट uh, जिस तरीके से मैं इस चीज़ को देखता हूँ कि सीट का कलर जो है वो है आप उसको बदल नहीं सकते बॉल uh, के कलर और सीट के कलर में फ़र्क है uh, और अगर आप ध्यान से बॉल पर फोकस करेंगे तो आई थिंक बॉल um, को पिक करने में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी हमने प्रैक्टिस भी करी है दिन में और शाम को दोनों तो कोई इश्यूज नहीं हमें फेस हुए और पहला सवाल जो आपने पूछा हमारे लिए काफ़ी गर्व की बात है कि सबसे ज़्यादा कैपेसिटी वाला स्टेडियम दुनिया में आ, इंडिया में है और हम पहला टेस्ट मैच खेलने वाले हैं उस पर और एटमोसफियर जब लोग आएंगे स्टेडियम भरेंगे वो एक्सपीरियंस उसके बाद ही आप एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हैं लेकिन जो हमने देखा है अभी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वाइज और Um, जो फैसिलिटीज प्रोवाइडेड हैं जैसा स्टेडियम बनाया गया है जैसे एरियाज डेजिग्नेटेड हैं कमाल का स्टेडियम बनाया और uh, हम लोग काफ़ी एक्साइटेड हैं काफ़ी खुश हैं कि इतना बढ़िया इतना सुंदर स्टेडियम हमारे देश में बना और हम उस पर uh, खेलने जाएंगे कल से विराट विराट मुझे ईशान के बारे में पूछना है कि एक फास्ट बॉलर के लिए मॉडर्न डे क्रिकेट में सौ टेस्ट मैच का दूरी तय करना ये कितनी बड़ी बात है और इतने क्रिकेट खेलने के बाद भी उसके इतने बाद है क्योंकि क्रिकेट में इंडियन क्रिकेट में क्रिकेट इतना खेलने के बाद ना ही हो आपके वो बालों के बारे में सोचना पड़ता है इसके बाल भी लंबे हैं उसका पल्ला भी लंबा है क्या करोगे अपने दोस्त के बारे में अगर आप कप्तानी करेंगे और हेलमेट पहनेंगे तो अब आपके भी उड़ जाएंगे बाल तो ये ये बालों का राज तो यही है मेरे हिसाब से ईशांत अगर लंबी बैटिंग करेगा तो शायद उसके बाल उड़ सकते हैं लेकिन वो लंबी बैटिंग वाला मौका नहीं आता है और जब आता है तो उसका रोल अलग तरीके का रहता है लेकिन देखिए ऑन अ सीरियस नोट जैसे मैंने बोला कि ये कमाल की अचीवमेंट है मॉडर्न डे क्रिकेट में इस तरीके से अपनी बॉडी को मेनटेन करना सौ टेस्ट मैच खेलना इतनी लॉन्जिविटी गेम में Uh, बहुत कम देखने को मिलती है स्पेशली फास्ट बॉलर्स की आज की डेट में और मोटिवेशन भी चली जाती है बहुत लोगों की क्योंकि उसके पास स्किल है वो चाहता तो अभी भी वो चार ओवर दस ओवर की अपनी क्रिकेट आराम से इम्प्रूव करके आईपीएल uh, में रेगुलरली खेलता है या वनडे क्रिकेट में और टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट में रेगुलरली अपने आप को प्रजेंट uh, करता है एज यू नो एज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट नेम्स जिसको आप कंसिडर uh, करें लेकिन उसने अपना पूरा कमिटमेंट पूरा ध्यान सिर्फ और सिर्फ टेस्ट क्रिकेट पर रखा उसको प्रायोरिटी दी और आज की डेट में सौ टेस्ट खेलना मेरे मेरी नज़रों में बहुत बड़ी बात है वो किसी भी बैट्समैन के लिए आप आराम से डेढ़ सौ प्लस टेस्ट मैचेस गिन सकते हैं या फिर उससे ज़्यादा भी गिन सकते हैं और बहुत कमाल की अचीवमेंट है और मैं बहुत बहुत खुश हूँ उसके लिए और आई होप कि वो और कई साल खेले और कई टेस्ट मैचेस खेले और जो हमारे अगला ग्रुप ऑफ बॉलर्स है उनको भी इंस्परेशन मोटिवेशन दे कि इतनी लॉन्जिविटी आप भी रखें गेम में ताकि इंडियन क्रिकेट टॉप पर रहे